Hello, everybody. Welcome to Olympus. You are here with Merilibus. Hey, guys. Is that how you get out? Do you squeeze through there somehow? I don't know. <laughs> we still got a teleporting away. Oh, I haven't bothered to try to sort it out. It still kind of works. And I've got the audio down for these mobs, friendly mobs, which is great. So nice. I have it down at 0%. You can just barely hear them. So this first video I've actually recorded, we're now 1.7. The last videos I had out were kind of from the stream. So let me know if you like that sort of thing. If you want me to upload my streams like that, I can do that. It's not a problem. Uh, they won't be edited heavily. The nice thing, like, um, thanks to KTR, um, he let me know with um, OBS, you can just have it set to record to your hard drive as you're streaming. So you get you get a nice file. And it actually also um, does the encoding as well. So the file you get is pretty much the same size as if I had edited it down and like um, rendered it. So that, I just basically take that file that DxTory outputs, I chop it into how many other pieces I need and upload those. So I tend not to edit it or, and re-render re it, I guess, because I think it will um, reduce the quality even more. I know the stream quality is not quite as good as probably this, and I don't even think this quality is all that good, to be honest. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's all. Update. So welcome. I'm just going to feed these guys. Uh, I've been exploring quite a bit. Uh, we did during the stream, and I've done some more afterwards. So I'll show you what we've got. Uh, I probably won't show any more exploring for the most part, at least not like a full episode, maybe like a, a clip here or there. But really, am I losing cows in here? you guys don't seem to be taking that much wheat. Anyway. Screw it. Okay. I've noticed a few things. So, what has changed with 1.7? Let's find out. Tree farm. <laughs> well, I don't really have a tree farm, but... If you guys remember my old method of just spamming down spruce trees and chopping them down... Um, there's a new... Whoops. Quirk with it, I guess. Uh, we get the tall spruce trees now, because you can get like the 2 by 2s that go all the way up. So that's what I'm getting. You can see I started chopping them down. And so my spam technique, I don't know, it's still viable, I guess. I was actually going to tear all these down and start um, collecting some of the, the new wood. I have some Acadia, or I always say Acadia. Acacia, I think it's called. I think I said Acadia the whole time during the stream. Um, Acacia... And here, let's head down. And also the dark oak. So we did find, did manage to find most of the biomes. I never came across a mesa biome, uh, but D Gamer has, and I think someone else on the server has as well. And it's a pretty big one too. Um, he's been, he set up a quarry, but he's done it in a method of like not destroying the landscape. So I think he's dug in. But it sounds like it's a pretty large one anyway. So even if there was a quarry there, it's probably not a big deal. So we may go visit that sometime. He's also got a gift for us. Um, I'll keep that on me. So this episode's going to be mainly just walking around and talking about stuff. The map stuff's cool, and we might head to spawn and do something with that, actually. Let's grab some of this acacia wood. And I like the logs. I'm not sure how I feel about the plant color and stuff yet. The orange, I think, is a little too much for me, but um, we'll see. Uh, I'll just put those in there. Sure. But yeah, I have a plan for this stuff that we could maybe do. I want to redo the map location at spawn. So I have some things I want to try there. I also harvested some of this packed ice. Uh, we found... Maybe I'll... Sh mm, no. Southwest, basically. It's hard to say. Let's see. If I take a look at this map. We explored kind of down here. So this was our main continent. If we look at the big map, right? Um, and we did, we tried to isolate all of our exploring down here. So I made a portal just over the border, basically, or about 500 blocks over the border. And then we came out in a jungle, and then we headed kind of southeast and southwest from there and explored. But I ended up finding an, uh, a spiked ice biome that was over basically here, right on the border of old chunks and new chunks. So it's got that harsh divider between it. So I started harvesting that stuff. But it's a real pain to harvest. I was using a silk touch shear, so at least it didn't cost any durability. But it's incredibly slow. It's basically like breaking glass or glowstone. Now that the efficiency tools do not work on them. Oh, that's a cool thing you can do with maps. I think I might have done that in the stream. I can't remember 
Wee. But yeah, very good potential for just a, basically like paintings, I guess now, but you can do it with maps. So that's cool. And then you get the hover over effect too, which could be good. Might be bad at spawn. I'll have to see. I'm hoping you'll be far enough away from the map that you won't get the hover over because I named the maps kind of oddly just so I could keep track of where they went. But yeah, that whole map is done. And thanks to everybody who helped out just exploring it because I kind of burnt myself out doing it myself. So we had some help from everybody on the server, so that was great. Oh, we also were visited by Coco. If you saw that video of his, he came and used the co-op, which is cool. He spelled it wrong. <laughs> I've spelled it wrong before too, though, so I'm not going to be too harsh. So he gave us some diamonds, so that's nice of him. So thank you, Coco. And yeah, you can come by and use this anytime you like. You don't have to pay, but you can if you like. Have I showed you guys this stuff? I don't know. I've been working on these walls, and I haven't really found anything I like. So I've been trying like different things on different sides. I think that's kind of what I want to go for. I don't want to make it too, too busy, busy, though. Because I think it... I don't know. But I don't want it completely smooth, either. I don't think that looks... I think that's too plain. So I don't know. I guess that doesn't look too bad. We'll see. I also want to go check out um, our ice tray, because I don't think that works. It might work. I can't... Hmm. <laughs> Use your words. Speak. Oh, uh, it might be an ice plains there, or it might be a taiga. I don't remember. If it's a taiga, it won't produce snow anymore, I don't think. It's weird. They added in, like, cold taigas that do produce snow. So I'm not sure why they didn't just make regular taigas still produce snow and then introduce, like, a warm taiga or something that doesn't produce snow. And that way the existing biomes wouldn't have been affected. But it's all good. Is there a boat kicking around? I don't see one. And I don't think I have a portal around here. So another change. Got cows. Got boats down there that I've fallen down in. The ice transparency thing. So my whole thing with the ice underneath and then water so you can see the ice. Doesn't work anymore. So this is what it looks like now. It's not bad. I don't know. We'll have to see what it looks like at night because I'm not sure how well the glowstone is going to show up anymore. But it is getting night, so why don't I get a boat and see if D-Gamer, who's on with me right now, wants to sleep the night away, and then we'll go ahead to that ice farm and see if it's still functional. Uh oh No. Ooh, I think I got it. Did I get it? Yes! Whoop, we go! Alright, my ice tray is northwest of here, or basically north, really. And boats still suck. <laughs> Why did boats break so so bad? I know they break all the time on lily pads, but there's also this awful desync issue where if you're riding a boat for a long time, your position is not related to where the server position is. What the hell? Oh, that's Runnings Island. Ah, cool. It's like, what the hell's that house? <laughs> it's too close to the tower! No, it's good. Add some scenery. But yeah, so traveling a boat, like doing all those maps in a boat was such a chore. You had to log out constantly. You'd fall out of the world. So many issues with it. And for some reason, I just thought it would be fixed in 1.7. I don't know why I thought it would be fixed. I just kind of thought, this is something that's going to get fixed. But no, it didn't get fixed. <laughs> they did update the controls, which is good. But still kind of wonky. Oh, here we go. Um, somewhere around here. Um, not there. I think it's the next inlet to get over to it. Okay, so this does look like just a taiga. So it does seem like my ice tray won't be working anymore. I wasn't sure if it was a taiga. I thought it was a taiga, but then I thought maybe it was a an ice plains when I looked on the map. But I think it's because on the looking down on the map, you see all the snow on top of the trees, so it just looks all white. Uh, where is my thing? It's got to be... <laughs> whoops. It's got to be over here. So what I'll probably do is tear this down. Yeah, it's over here. Tear this down, unfortunately. Where is it? Now, there's that other one. Mine must be further south. So yeah, I'll probably tear all this down when I find it. Come on, where are you? And I think I showed it to you guys. Yeah, here it is. But I think it now... Someone said build one in your tower. Which I think implies that... Do you get snow at high altitudes anywhere? I thought it was only in extreme hills. It seems the click and drag feature for the distribution of 
is a little bugged now. What do you mean? That's too bad. How so? So yeah, this will no longer freeze over if I harvest these guys. So, probably tear it down. Um, I might build, if it is true that it freezes anywhere, which I guess I can find out as soon as it rains. If I get snow on the top of my tower, I'm going to build a, a cubed version like I have in my single player world that also no longer works because it was in a taiga. It seems to half do it for me. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is basically dead. It's dead to me. We could move it into an ice plains. But, uh, I don't know if we will. So anyway, let's see. Is there anything else I wanted to touch base with at the tower? I don't think so. Excuse me. I don't think so. Um, so I'm going to head to spawn. I don't know if I should just hoof it. Probably not. I'm like 3,000 blocks away. Hello, Skype. Way to vibrate that thing, guy. Way to vibrate it. Should I run it? I'm going to run it. Let's travel to spawn. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll cut when I get there. What is this? Oh, that's that other one? I'm heading north. Whoops. Man, get turned around so easily. Okay, I really regret deciding to run. But anyway, um, I kind of overshot, went a bit too far to the east, so I, I got to bring you back. This is where we get our sand, or at least where I get my sand. It's a big sand quarry not too far from spawn. Spawn's just over on the other side of the jungle. Uh, this I did not show in the server tour. I do think I've shown it a long time ago, but this is one of D-Gamer's, I think, first... one of his first bases, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> He's a lot of bases. This one's pretty cool. Uh, it's... It's very, um... I don't know how to describe it. I'll just show you guys. And there's a portal in there, so we can go in there. But yeah, very cool. I don't know what it reminds me. It almost... I get like a Metroid feeling to it. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe the spheres? I'm not too sure. But yeah, this is one of D-Gamer's earlier projects, I think. I think it's done for the... Mo well, actually, I don't think it is completely done. I'm not sure what his... I think his master plan is actually to connect this one to his other base, which I believe is over that way. So I think that's what he's eventually going to do. Or maybe he's already done it. I'm not too sure. But he's also got this cool little house here and a fountain. Actually, I haven't seen this in a long time. There was no quartz, I don't think, last time I was here. Vecu. Cool. Yeah, he's got a very nice build style. And he can just dish it out. <laughs> just build. Cool. But yeah, if you head out, I think it's this way. If we keep going east, I think that would take us to his other base. And this is probably the... T the line that will eventually go all the way over. So that goes to his jungle one, which I did show recently in the server tour. So we won't head that way. But anyway, I thought I'd bring you back, show you this guy. And let's head to spawn. Whoa, what did I do? Where am I? All right, here we are at the hub, I think. Yep, I wasn't sure I went the right way. I did. Excellent. All right, nothing too much has changed here. Only thing I want to show you guys is I've started work on the Wither Farm, or Wither Skeleton Farm here as well. I actually started before I started it on my single player, and then I went and built it on my single player. So, I don't know how much of this I will show. I might, I'm going to get help from some of the guys on the server, so I might leave it up to them to record, and I'll just be along for the ride. Um, actually, let's go up top. It is over there, so that's our old wither hunting grounds. And maybe I do have to go down there. Uh, please don't land in lava, please don't land in lava. Oh god, that's close. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so I think this is where I'm going to make it come down. And I kind of have a vision of what this will look like. We are going to have a walkway here. I don't know if... I might have a giant stairwell come down, I'm not too sure. So that eventually, by the time you get over here, you're at this level. So I don't know if I want to try to do that. I mean, that would be one hell of a staircase. <laughs> but we'll see. But yeah, here it is. Um, the base is already kind of built. I think the pistons are even in place. So the only thing that really needs to be done is, I think, some of the redstone. And also we have to rip out the current pads and kind of replace them with the strips. Now for this one, actually what I'm thinking of doing... 
Um, this is one hell of a fortress. Like, there's intersections everywhere. <laughs> it's just like intersection, 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 intersection. Like, there's like six of them right there, I think. And there's another one over. Th I can't remember if that is one. I don't know if that is one. I don't think it is. There's one. There is more there, though. What I'm thinking of doing, if it'll work out, is actually building a second one of these right next to it. And then we'll have this kind of an arch between. So 10 blocks away from that glowstone, roughly, is where the second one will start. And it will start veeing down. And then we'll have two collection areas um, just across from each other. Again, i got to check the fortress to make sure this will actually work. But So we'll have one collection here and then another one there. And I think that might work out better than like in my single player world because you'll be able to... Also, I've done something weird here, or it's not set up the same way. Anyway, I'll take a look. Um, that way, you can like come over here, get the withers to collect, kill them off, and then go over to this one, get them to collect, kill them off, and you can basically just go back and forth, killing them. Or if you have two people here, or something like that. So I think that might help, as I'm noticing in my single-player world. Even though I've done a hell of a job getting rid of spawning spaces, it still doesn't run phenomenally. Like until I can get rid of all spawning spaces, it's it still seems to struggle so I think this will help out because it will provide more spawning space basically for the mobs to spawn so as long as we're not reaching mob cap I think that will help but yeah that's the plan on that and I think we're gonna try working on it some tomorrow with the guys so I'm gonna see if they wanna if any of them are gonna record or maybe I'll stream it I'm not too sure and yeah let's head to spawn now finally And I've talked to D Gamer. This is where our, our message board is, but I don't know how much use it gets, or at least I don't use it. <laughs> so I've talked to D Gamer, and I think I'm going to convert this into the entrance into the Wither Skeleton Farm. And we'll relocate this somewhere else, maybe. Or if we still need it, I'm not too sure. All right, so we're going to head and do the map. Now, what I'm thinking for the map is, in terms of a location, I'm not going to build like a building for it or anything like that. I think I touched base with it already, but here at the temple that D-Gamer built, there's a nice spot right above us that I think would look good for a map where I've placed that thing there. Now the trick is, this is odd, and I think our map size ended up being an even number based on how we mapped it out, or how I started to map it out. And, oh yeah, I've also put up some flowers here for people to grab if they want. With the new mechanic, all you got to do is bone meal them. And it just basically spits the flower at you, which is kind of overpowered in my opinion. But anyway, so you can get easy dyes for some of the colors. I'm guessing that's yellow. Does that make a nice easy yellow color? Did I get any? Where are they? Yeah, there. Yeah, nice easy way to get yellow dye. Nice easy way to get red dye. All you need is bones. And, yeah. All right, so here's our map. I don't know if you've seen it. Maybe you have. In completion and enlarged. But, yeah. Okay, so there you go. You can see the numbering when I look at the map. But I have to get pretty close to it, so I think that's okay. And I might go ahead and just rename the maps to something less obstructive, or maybe I can re rename them back to map and it won't show up. I don't know how that works. But, yeah, you can see this one I named Witch's Tower because it has Witch's, my Witch's Tower on it, but also has runnings. So I think most of the time you'd be looking kind of from this far away, so that's pretty good. So I don't think this would be an issue. You won't get that hover over effect. But this is what I want to do. I did this quickly here when I was here earlier with this wood, and I really like the look of it. So I think this is what we're going to use for our map. And I think we're going to copy Minecraft a little bit. <laughs> or copy this though. You did an awesome job on the Minecraft server with their map room, map wall, and all that stuff. So I think I am going to do like an enlarged version of spawn on the other side as well, because I think that would look cool. I'm not going to go into the whole coordinate system that Zisto did. Oh, C D. Whoops, hit my mouse. Yeah, I won't go through like the whole different color clays to figure out where people are. I'm not going to go into that effect. That is really cool, however. But yeah, I'm going to go a little bit simpler here. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving this over. But let's um, let's build a structure for it. Oops. I don't want them. How big is it? So it's six wide by four tall. So it's going to be eight, eight by six. And I want to use that wood, which I did bring. And here's a whole copy of all the maps as well, in case we lose them. 
And I also have another copy back at my tower too, so it should be fairly difficult for us to totally destroy all the maps unless, yeah, something really bad happens. So I'm going to raid this, if there is anything. I want to use, I think, these stone slabs. Uh, I don't want quartz. This is done by DGamer, by the way. It's like his little community. Well, I think it's all his stuff, really, but I'm using it. It's okay. Don't get mad. And what else? What I hadn't decided on... Well, we'll wait on that, I guess. Do I need anything else? Now, since the maps are going to cover up the wall, I don't think it's really important what the wall ends up being. The only thing we might want to do is add some light behind there, because it might be a decent way to hide light. And I don't know... Oh, maybe I'll... Steal some glowstone dust. I'm just stealing everything. I didn't really plan on doing this till I started running back to spawn. Okay. So I think that'd be good. Two light sources will probably be adequate. So yeah, because of this, because this is even number, I think I'm going to have to orientate this this way. So to look at the map, you'll have to be facing this way. And that might work out actually okay, because in my opinion, when you're looking at a map north right which will be up should be north so this is actually north so when we put the map here when you're looking for it the orientation wise is kind of good like if you, this thing is to the left of spawn it means it's actually over there to the right of spawn above spawn it's that way behind it's that way so yeah i think it'll actually work out better this way so it might actually oops i hear you you're not sneaking up on me and i want to see how thick this is if i can lower it at all Okay, we're right on the ceiling down below, so I probably can't. Oh, getting some lag. Server's been pretty rubbish lately. I don't think 1.7 is very stable, to be honest. Uh, we've had crashes that have taken down the server that forced needed like a reboot. Stuff like that. Server went down for a couple days because no one who could reboot the server knew it was down. But yeah, so hopefully they roll out some patches once Minecon is over. And yeah, Minecon's going on, I think, this weekend. Which is cool. So, let's see. Six. Well, this stone thing, I guess, will work for a guide. And I'm going to make it one block off the ground, I think. Oh, wait. Um, I'm going to do something odd. I don't know if this will work out well, but we'll, f we'll see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to make it um, thicker. And these probably won't stay the ones I'm putting down on the ground, mainly just so I can place the blocks. Hello, thank you. So I'm thinking like that, but I kind of wanted this to be lower down so that you didn't have to look up so so hard to see the map, because that's kind of high, I guess, now. You kind of want to be eye level with the map. So I was hoping I could lower this down a bit. And then when you're standing on the edge of it, you're actually higher up. But then it still has this, a decent base to it. But I think I'll just leave it like this, I guess, for now. Maybe we'll try this out. Okay, so we've got to go up four for the map. And then we're going to have to go across. So I'm going to do... I think I'm just going to do something as simple and basic as this. And see how it turns out. If I have enough wood. Okay, there we go. Through the glowstone at the top, so it's not noticeable, and it also prevents mobs from spawning on top of it, I, I think. I hope. Yeah, it should do. So I think that's it. I don't know. I might try to change it up a bit. I don't know how well it fits with everything that's already here. And that looks kind of wonky. Uh, let's add another slab maybe up top to even it out. Sure. I do like this wood, though. It's very stone-like. It almost looks like fossilized wood or something and it goes well with stone it's just got like a hint of brown to it or like a beige so i think i'm going to be using this wood a lot we'll see all right now i got to transfer the maps over so i'm going to go do that and i'll bring you back when it's done and then i'll probably map out the spawn and we'll do that too da halloween's over running come back with tnt no i'm kidding <laughs> just kidding just kidding Kidding. All right, there we go. 
I don't know how much I like this design, but we'll see. Pretty sure mobs can still spawn on this. But this our spawn is not very mob friendly. I mean, this is pretty dark. We'll see. Um, there we have it. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I might make changes to it in the future. If you guys have any suggestions, you can let me know as well. And now I'm going to go ahead and do, yeah, the town hall, or spawn map. This one will be backwards, unfortunately. So even though north is up on the map, it's actually going to be south when you're looking at it. But can't get them both to work properly on both sides, unfortunately. But I should still have a whole bunch of maps in the chest that I made using, like, community iron. And my redstone from the tower, because... Oh no, there aren't any more maps. Son of a... I have to go make more maps. Hmm. Alright then. Do, 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 do. So that's the community iron. I only use it for... If I'm yeah working on community stuff, like I'm going to use it for the... Wither Skeleton Farm for the hoppers, and we used it to make some pistons and stuff like that. So I think that's a good use of that. We're also going to start, we'll have it for like beacons as well. I'm hoping once this thing is up and running, the Wither Skeleton thing, beacons will be very easy to obtain, hopefully. And we can start putting them all over the place, and we can use this iron for the community beacon bases, I guess. So we can add like speed 2 everywhere and stuff like that. So I think that would be great, um, but yeah, it's thought she this. It hasn't been usually D Gamer's the one who manages this, but he's not on as much as of late. He's busy with school, so that's understandable. And I always forget about this thing, but yeah, every once in a while we got to come and convert it all the blocks. We only have a double one here, so it's not a huge issue, but it does fill up over time. That should be good enough, and I've just stored over where I was before. Um, and D-Gamer's little hut. Going, going, gone. Oh, yeah. I do like what they did with item frames. The fact that if you hit it once, it just knocks out the item. Brilliant. So brilliant. All right. So iron is all in here. There's actually a chest down here for it as well. And there's a chest below that, too, that's full of iron blocks, I do believe. So there's a double chest full of iron blocks. And then it looks like about another chest full. Not quite a double chest full of blocks here. So, yeah. That should be many, many beacons. And I'm determined to find a place in that nether that we can put a beacon near that wither fortress. But I'll have to see if I can find it. Oh, right. I wanted iron. <laughs> like, why did I do that? I want... I'm going to make a... Let's see here. I don't need a stack of maps, but maybe I'll make half a stack of maps. So then I just need to get redstone, which I don't know if I have any, and I use my last end of pearls. I also place some of the uh, trees around spawn, so there if people want to get the saplings. I also donated a bunch of saplings to Coco, because he's got a tree farm, so I figured that was appropriate. Ooh, look at this. I sh forgot about this. Uh, the mo memorial building that D-Gamer's currently constructing. Looks amazing. I helped out a little bit, but it's really all him. Um, we just kind of helped duplicate his vision a bit. But very cool. I haven't been here in a while to see what was going on. Yeah, the main thing I only did was these towers, I think. Cool, cool. So if you don't know what this is, he's going to be building, or maybe we're supposed to build, I'm not sure yet. Uh, people, little like um, monuments not statues, but almost like avatars. Hard to describe. I think it's like upper torso is the way. He did a bunch of them on the test server that look really cool. So I'm not sure how far eventually it's going to go. I don't think there's a limit, but I don't think we're going to build that far right off the bat. So I think he's only planning to go maybe to here then. Not sure. Running got a little carried away putting the floor. So there's a huge <laughs> flooring going way out. This is kind of cool. It almost seems like it's kind of like the entrance into town too. If you're coming into spawn, you come through here, you go through this memorial kind of tunnel, and then you have the avatars of the members on the server that have, I think he's only doing kind of the ones that kind of help do like community work and stuff like that, at least at first, I think. So I think Iro will be there probably because he's yeah the owner, and then D-Gamer should definitely go second because he's he does the most for the server in terms of community builds, and then other people, 
<laughs> who, who he judges worthy may be put in there. So I'm hoping I have some uh, redstone at my spawn house. I also planted some acacia trees around here. Not too sure. <laughs> Oops, that one like went into the house. And I put some over there too. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> again, mostly for people if they want to kind of get it or need the saplings and haven't explored or haven't found it, they can just go there. See, that's my spawn house. I don't think I have any redstone though. Oh no, uh, yeah, I remember. I told someone they could take some, and they they took it all. <laughs> I don't know how much I actually had here, though. So, Well, that's unfortunate. I'll have to go back to the tower to make some maps, so I will go do that. This episode's also getting long, so I'm going to time skip ahead, and I'll bring you back when the, all the maps of spawn are done, and we can take a look at that, and then we can say goodbye. Ooh, I think, Co uh, uh, sorry, I think Fancy did this. He was talking about he wanted to redo the portal, kind of make it a more circular. I think that looks really good. So well done, Fancy, if this was indeed you. Good job. Good job, guy. Hey, guy. I also redid my portal. I don't know if I like it. It's... I made, basically made it taller and three wide so I could center it properly because we were having issues getting it centered facing this way, I think. So now I can put it this way. So I think that is okay. It's not too, too close to that. I'm not sure if I like it, how it's built, but I basically tried to just enlarge kind of the style I already had. But it might look better if it was one shorter. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I've got the compasses, so I'm going to head back to spawn and make all the maps. This thing just keeps breaking. If anybody knows how I can get this thing to work consistently, I'm pretty sure the problem is because it gets unloaded. Ooh, and it pearls. So sometimes it just... Yeah, it looks like it fixed itself. No, it didn't. It's totally busted. So yeah, if anyone can tell me how to make this so it will work, if I can force load some chunks open, or loaded... What did I say? I don't know. Yeah, if I can force some chunks to stay loaded while this thing is operating, and then once it's done, it will unload itself, I would imagine. But I'm not too familiar on how to accomplish all that. Exactly what I need to do, which chunks to load. Like if I had this built in a ch its own chunk, which I think it might actually be by fluke. No, this one isn't. The other one is back at my other end of the tunnel. And I have experimented a little bit with hoppers over chunk borders to try to keep them loaded when the thing is running, but it doesn't seem to work, so I don't know exactly how it all should work, so I need you guys to teach me and tell me how to accomplish this. Maybe a video, if you could, showing exactly the mechanics? <laughs> is that much to ask? Or just a description? <laughs> like which chunks? If, I'm, if I build this in a chunk, do I then need to load keep all the chunks around it loaded as well? Does it just keep its chunk loaded? Yeah. Do I need to force load a certain amount of chunks around it? I gotta rewatch Panda's video when he talks about all that stuff. Alright, uh, anyway, that should sort itself out now until I go in the portal and break it again. Alright. It is done. I also move this down. Oops, that looks kind of weird though. And also I was visited by Fancy, so he came and gave some moral support. <laughs> and I rescued him, because he was trapped. He slept in a bed behind a wall, and then died. And he had no way of getting out, other than punching. But yeah, I did this spawn village, and I think it looks really cool. I really like the close-up maps. They look pretty cool. You can see D-Gamers work here. So that's the zombie arena. That actually looks really cool on the map, which is the different clay. I wonder what this would have looked like before they added in the new coloring. This probably would have looked really boring. I'm not too sure. Interesting. Fire looks really cool. I'm pretty sure that's fire. Same with those guys. Those little circles. Very cool. Also did lower it down one. I kind of talked with Fancy about it and we decided that it would probably be best and we did manage to get it 
kind of in there. I did have to... What did I have to do? I changed a few blocks, and I'll probably change those stone blocks to smooth stone as well. And then it kind of works out. So they're sharing, they're sharing a spot. And I had to put these here because there's a redstone lamp underneath one of them, and the lever's there, and I don't think there's anywhere else I could put the lever to power that lamp. So I just put that in the middle, and I got rid of the ones on the side. Oh, well, that's probably why that isn't changed, because it used to be a log. But anyway, I think that's going to do for now. I might make some adjustments later on, but I <laughs> struggled with this. I don't know what I did. I did really good. I got like the air. I did like a 4x4, four four, and then I had to go around and do the outside. And I started here, and I went up, but I think I went one too high, and then I went run across and then down. So I had a hell of a time, and then I went back and did it again, and I did the exact same thing. And I think it was based because one of my maps was wrong. So I'd go to that map and then travel across, but that map didn't actually belong there. It belonged up there, so I'd travel too far north and across. But there you go. That'll be it for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.